you doing? I'm Kurt Romanowski. I fish out of Newport Ritchie area. Charter captain here for years. I fish about, about 110 days, 150 days on the water. One of the things I like about the skippy bait is the fact that it resembles the white bait we have in this territory. It's almost identical. The, the action of it, you, it resembles the, the fish by the look. The nice thing about this is when we're fishing the areas, we have a lot of mangroves in the areas. And when at a higher tide, because the tide tells us a lot what we're, where we're going to fish. And at the high tide, the fish get under the mangroves. And these baits work perfect for skipping them up under the mangroves. You can slide them up under there, and then the reaction coming out of the mangroves resembles exactly what we have in the area. And that's the nice thing about these baits is the, the tail action of it keeps it moving and it attracts the attention of that fish. You get somebody sitting back there in the mangroves, he's going to know this guy's in there. He's coming looking for it. One of the ways we like to hook him is we'll use a, a open hook with a weight in the front. We'll hook it right in. This, this is not the weedless style. We'll put it in, screw that on there, and we just call this as a little jerk bait and you just hop it along. So if you're not skipping under the bushes, you're, you're out here in this area, we've got a lot of sand pockets and we'll fish the sand pockets just bouncing it. Bait will come in, the tail action, what's nice about this is when the bait sits down, that tail's wiggling and that's what's going to attract the attention of the fish is that movement there. The fish feel that vibration of the movement. The little fish will come and attack it. The bigger fish come see what they're eating and come back in here and eat this. That's a nice way of hooking it up. Another way we can do it, and it's for fishing underneath the bushes, is we hook this as a weedless style. And we just, we'll plug that into there. And then hook it, adjust your size down, pull it through the back of it, and you can pinch it on just a very little bit just to get underneath the skin. Now that's a perfectly weedless bait. When you're pitching into the mangroves, occasionally even as a professional we do hit the trees and you'll pull it back you won't get tangled up in there but what's the nice thing about this is when you're skipping them you'll throw it sideways and that bait will slide just like that. You can slide this probably eight to ten feet underneath the mangroves and that's where at the higher tides you get a lot of your snook, a lot of your redfish will hide. Come back, pull that back out, and just start retrieving it. And that tail action, as it's moving, that bait starts wiggling. Just the movement of that will attract the fish from farther away. He'll come back in and smack that thing. You can't beat it. This here is, it'll show you the, such a close resemblance. This is the white bait that we have in this area. This is the white bait. This is the baby bass style. Can't really tell the difference. They just, they almost look identical. And that's when that's, that's what you'll see a lot up underneath the bushes swimming. The fish are going after that. You confuse them, throw this guy out there, and you've got him every time.